You're listening to the True Recovery Podcast, where there's help, there's hope. Hosted by Doc Hugh, a functional medicine doctor with over 20 years of clinical experience helping people recover from chronic long-term health conditions. Hello, podcast listeners, and this is Dr. Hugh Egworth, and I want to welcome you to my podcast, True Recover, where there's help, there's hope, and this is episode one. And for episode one, what I want to do is really go over the purpose of why I'm creating this podcast and what the purpose of the podcast is. And I I figured what I would do is I would really start relate with my story and what brought me here in the field of natural health care. And if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably suffering to some degree when it comes to your health. And I hope my podcast can, can bring you some light, can bring you some truth, because the honest truth of the matter is it's hard to find truth out there. You have to look very, very hard to find truth. It's really easy to find lies out there. Just look at the media and see what's happening and see all the drug commercials of what's happening. So this podcast is really to bring help and hope for you that you can recover. And I figured I would share my story and what brought me to here. And it comes down to way back when I was 13 years old, as of the recording in 2021, I'll be turning 48 years old. But what happened to me is I grew up very obese. I was an obese child. Both my mom and dad were obese. My dad died prematurely at 69 years old. He was on 16 medications every single day of his life. And guess what, folks? The only thing they ever gave my dad was a drug or a surgery. And that was it. They just said, hey, where's your insurance? Where's your insurance card? Here's a drug. We'll see you come back and we'll make sure that your liver's not blowing up. Now, I seen that I seen that growing up and I'm like, man, something's got to change here. Something's, this just isn't right that my dad is so obese and he's on all these medications and I was obese too. My name being Hugh, H-U-G-H, guess what they called me in high school? Huge, H-U-G-A, that, that's what, H-U-G-E, that was my nickname in high school was Huge. So what happened is I went up to the Boundary Waters when I was, when I was 13 years old. Now, what happened up there is I had a spiritual connection my with myself, an inner spiritual connection. Now, the Boundary Waters is located in Minnesota. It's it's north. It's it's uh, it's by Canada. All right. So because I was a kid, because my name was was huge. Guess what? When you portage or, or when you canoe, you portage. So you you're in a lake and you canoe. You need to go to another lake, and there's not always a, it's there's not always like a stream to get you the, to the other lake. So when you portage, you actually get out of the lake, you put the canoe on your shoulders and your backpack, and you might walk 20 feet. You might you might walk two miles to the next lake or river so you can start canoe again, canoeing again. Now because I was a fat kid, huge. Guess what? I would get the canoe and I would get the backpack. So I had both things. So within a matter of three days, I had lost. 10 pounds. So when we came back, I jumped on the scale. For some odd reason, I I weighed myself before I left and I weighed myself after. And I was 10 pounds lighter within literally about a four-day trip. So what happened up uh, up there was uh, was spiritual awakening awakening for me. I'm like, hey, I can do something different. I can actually lose weight. I can actually change my life. I don't actually need to be called huge and be obese. And at the same time, I was dyslexic. I was diagnosed with dyslexia when I was in in basically first grade, and I had a very, very hard time reading at that point. And and until that point, 13 years old, I could barely read, to be honest with you. I went to special ed, but things just weren't clicking. I wasn't motivated enough to take care of my health. So once I got back from the Boundary Waters, I buckled up. I lost 80 pounds within six months. I went from a 42-size waist down to a 32-size waist in a matter of basically six months. I lost 80 pounds. And ever since then, I've never looked back. I've always been on a quest to help as many people as possible. Now, the demons are within my head. Now, what do I mean by the demons? The demons are the little things that say, Hugh, go to Dairy Queen. Hugh, go to Dairy Queen. Hugh, eat that sugar. Hugh, eat that ice cream. I could go to Dairy Queen for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, that's the thing that is in my brain. I always have this thing going in my brain. Eat sweets. Eat sweets. If I didn't gain weight, I could eat sweets all day long. That's just the truth of it. That's just how I'm wired. So every day I struggle with my weight. I struggle with eating. And to this very day, I need to be very conscious about what I'm doing and what's in my thoughts. What's 
what's the thought pattern that I have? Now, seeing my dad when I was a, a you know young a youngster, I'm like, there's no way I'm going to end up like my dad. Something's not right. You know, he would go to the doctor and they would only give him a drug or surgery for every little problem that he would have. They'd say, here, Wag, here's a drug. Here's a drug or here's a surgery for your case. The system, the system didn't get, the system didn't care about my dad. The system didn't show love for my dad. Now, do I think the providers were very caring and loving people? Of course they were. But the system that set up did not deliver love and compassion and give my dad truth. It's very, very hard to find truth out there, to be honest with you. You got to dig really deep to find truth. So what I want this podcast to be is a source, a platform for truthful information that can impact your life. If you're listening to this podcast, maybe you've been damaged by antibiotics, fluoroquinolones, they're a special kind of class. Maybe you have fibromyalgia, maybe you have tendon pain, maybe you have GI issues, maybe you have constipation, maybe you have sleep problems, maybe you have brain fog or brain fatigue, or maybe you have just weird twitching throughout your whole body. This podcast is set up, is designed to help chronic degenerative condition. So this is what I I hope to get out of this podcast to convey to you is some truth uh, of healing and hope that hope is possible and healing is possible. And I don't want anyone to end up like my dad where the only solution they were given was a drug or surgery. So I hope my story can somehow relate to your story. And in this podcast, you find some kind of peace, some kind of understanding, some kind of peaceful, truthful, truthful, truthful information that can possibly reverse your condition or help you live a life of prosperity, help you live a life of better health. Because at the end of the day, if we don't have health, we don't have anything. Your health is your most important item that you have that God gave us in our body. The most amazing doctor we have is inside your body. So we have to figure out what's affecting your body. Why isn't your body healing and functioning? And when we can figure that out, then your body has an ability to heal itself. So that's what this podcast is designated for, is to help those people that are suffering. And if you like this uh, podcast, hit the subscribe button. And where there's help, there's hope. Take care. Bye-bye.